Hey there guys, and welcome back to Love Live Vape. Now, I haven't been around for a while, I've been quite busy doing things and stuff, you know. Um, but I've got myself this brand new RDA. It's a clone RDA, it's the Fenno Type L. Now, this thing is just absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so I'm going to just get this out of the box, I'm just going to show you what it's all about. So yes, this is a clone. Oh, it's all felty in there, it's nice, it's very nice. So this is a clone, and... I haven't seen the original, but so I've been told by the guys in Mad Cow Vapes in Raynham, these guys are diamond, they've set me up with this thing and I like, just want to give them a nice shout out because they're diamond, diamond people. I seriously recommend if you're in the area, go and have a chat with these fellas if, if you're getting into this or whatever because they will help you out and they will be glad to do it as well. So they recommended this because I like to build coils and there's a reason why they recommended this for coil builders. There's so much space in this thing. I'm just going to start taking it out and show you guys. So first thing I want to talk about is this nice kind of uh, acid engraved you know, like logo, name, whatever you want to call it. Um, one thing I've noticed about this is the threads The threads in this are machined beautifully. I know, once again, I say this all the time, my video capturing quality is poor. So yes, I can't really get nice close-up pictures, but oh, trust me when I say this, it's machined beautifully even though it's a clone. There's no faults in it. Now, I haven't tested, and I probably should have done really, but I don't think the... Uh, you know, you know, you get the brass pin, the centre pin. I don't think that's adjustable at all. What else we can see here is the the airflow holes. They're quite big. They are very, very spacious, very airflowy indeed. Uh, so double sided as well. So back and front airflow. And now, as far as I'm aware, this is a a one piece. You've got the bottom piece, obviously. The deck. Is one piece, you know, you've got this ring, the airflow ring, that's two pieces, and then this top part, I'll take it all apart, you'll see, is a fourth piece, and then the chuff cap or the drip tip is the fifth piece. So it's a five piece RDA, and it's just beautifully machined. And apparently, you can't tell the difference between this and the original, so can't go wrong. Now, I'm going to start sticking this on my device so I can pull this thing apart for you guys. Once again, Sigeli 150 watt. Get yourselves one of these. All right, yes. Nowadays there are a lot of the temperature controls coming out, and like they're just literally taking over, and everyone's getting them. Totally recommend getting temperature controls, especially the Sigilly one, because that's quite nice looking as well. Having to wait to invest in one of them for myself, but go for it, guys. So I'm just gonna pull this apart because like I want to put my chaff cap because I don't do trip tips. They're too small. I don't like it. So okay, so what we see here is yes, I've already got a build in it, yes I've been using it, of course I've been using it, this is a review, I need to tell you guys what it's all about. So yeah, I know there's cotton in there and I know there's coil in there, I wish I did like gut this thing so you guys can see how deep the well is, the well is pretty deep, that, that gives you kind of an indication of how deep the well is, so there's nice space in there. Double o-rings as well, so it's nice and grippy, no leaks, as far as like... I've, I've, so, so far since I've been using is not leaked once out of the bottom I have not got juice anywhere near my device at all so that's good there also so here we go this is the second part that kind of goes into the o-ring in the uh, airflow ring should I say so there's the airflow ring and now uh, looking at all, everything everything's been beautifully machined there is no like burrs there is no nothing it's it's Flawless, absolutely flawless. Uh, so I'm guessing you basically get like four options of airflow. You could say you get like eight options of airflow because you can kind of go half steps. Because basically on here, if you can see there, there's it's angled, right? So if you turn it just enough, you get like the half step, the half steps. So you can go let like, let's say, I want. Four air flows, or I could go four air flows and a half, or one and a half, or two and a half. Yeah. So you can do it like that. You can go straight from like the one, the 
two, three, you know. Gives you full control of your airflow so you can get it just right to suit you, which is fantastic in my opinion. So yeah, you get like the eight options if you like. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take the O-ring off now. Now, the chuff cap slash drip tip, um, is, you, could, you could technically say it's uh, six pieces. Woo. It's gone, I'll get that in a minute. But basically, the drip tip actually comes out of its its ring. So basically, yeah, you, know, you, you get it. You, you get it. Now, I much prefer a chuff cap. It's comfortable, much more comfortable, much more space to drip into. You can see your coil inside, so you know where you're dripping and all that other stuff. You know, so I totally recommend chuff caps. You get more airflow from them as well, and it's just much, much more comfortable on the lips. And I like comfort. Right, so I'm just going to stick this all together. I'm going to set up my airflow. Now I've been running this on like when you get one of these. If you get one of these, like once again, like you have to experiment with building. But I'm using just one airflow hole, one, just one. Um. I've also got myself built in here already a uh, two strand Clapton parallel with a twisted. What did I use? Oh, I think I used 26 gauge Canthal. And the Clapton is bound with uh, nichrome, with 30 gauge nichrome, which is absolutely lovely uh, and it's beautiful. So yes, I know, I know, I know you can't see it very well. It's getting a little bit better. So you, you can see what's going on there. It's a staged heat coil. So you know, you've got a thin wire and a thicker wire. And the thinner wire heats up the thicker wire quick. Staged heat. You, you should get that by now. If you haven't seen any of my other videos before, then go and have a look. They're, they're there. Just look. So I'll just put this all together and show you how this thing vapes. Because that's really what we want to see, isn't it? Let's be honest. Okay, so a coil I've built. Ooh, shiny. 0.4 ohms. And I'm running this on 80 watts. And it's coming up at 6.1 volts. I've quite, got myself quite a full battery there. And now the coil I've built, I can whack this up to 150 and just get pure vapor straight in my face literally blow my face off and it's quite hot quite hot to vape but I have to open my airflow up all the way because otherwise it's just it's too hot and it just blows my face off and I can't be dealing with that so I whack it down to a little bit so 80 watts so I get a nice cool vape followed by the heating of the coil and the coil heats up that vapor and you, just, you feel the heat and it's beautiful that way in my opinion so Obviously, this is where you guys got to experiment, and that's the point of these. There is so much space in this thing to build. You you, you can go single coil. You can go you can go double coil. You can go parallel coils. You can go quad coils in this thing if you you've got the space for it. And trust me, I've the guy in Mad Cow Vapes. He showed me some of the builds that he's done, and all oh my days they are just flawless. He's a very good builder. So if you ever need some tips, I do recommend that you should go and see him. I'm pretty sure he'd be help, ha happy to show you guys. Had to build some of these coils, and he's he's going for like alien claps and stuff, man. Like this is all next level stuff for me. I haven't even come across any of this stuff yet, so I do recommend you go and see this fellow because he's amazing. I think the guy's name's Sam. Um, he's got a beard. We've all got beards now these days. So yeah, go and see him. Other than that, I'm rambling a bit, so I'm going to show you how this vapes, and uh, then I'll get on to pros and cons. absolutely luscious thick dense clouds and they are f dense stupid dense I'm really impressed really impressed with the amount of airflow options you can get and like, obviously where I've got it on set one setting you get a nice draw off that as well um, you know you get a nice pull you feel like you're actually doing some work to get that and it's brilliant absolutely brilliant Woo, woo, woo. woo! Where have you gone, guys? I don't know. 
Anyway, so I'm currently uh, vaping this. This is uh, the Lost Fog Collection. Now, this is obviously <laughs> from, as you can see, is from the guys that make Cosmic Fog. And uh, this is 30 mils, 3 milligrams, and it's called Neon Cream. Now, this is very sweet. It's, it's literally taking me back to my childhood. It's such a lush smell, lush flavour. Oh, I don't even know how to just start to describe this. It's it's very creamy, let's put it that way. Oh. Oh. And I guess if you could imagine, like, those peaches and cream, like, uh, boiled sweets... It's very close to that that flavour, that smell, that taste. Um, it's it's glorious. It's really really nice. I totally recommend that you give some of these these uh, lost fogs a go because they they I can only imagine they're fairly new now. Um, you know they've got Twitter, they've got Facebook, they've got Instagram. Get on there because um, you will find a lot of a lot of these, and they've got lots of flavours of these lost fogs. These are like oh ah ah. I don't know, they're just, just going up. Look, once again, got that from Mad Cow Vapes. Absolutely brilliant shot in there as well. I'll tell you guys, I, I walked in there and I felt so comfortably, instantly, just welcomed and everything else. You know, you can sit in there and have a good old chat with the guys as well, and it, it's, it's much more welcoming than some of the shops that I've go to. So yeah, give them a go. Right, okay. So pros and cons with this thing. Pros. Lots of space to build in, absolutely loads of space. The well is deep, so you can pack that thing with cotton if you wish, or if you're not so much of a cotton user, there's enough space for that well to sit and have that juice sitting in there, and you know it's not going to like start leaking. It's quite deep, it's deep enough. Um, I haven't got my ruler out to measure it, but I can only assume it's literally about 3.5 to 4 mil deep. It's nice so much space it's only two posts two posts so you ain't got no center posts at all it's just two you're positive and you're negative oh sorry no the gold is the positive the silver is the negative remember that guys and there's just so, look, this, this coil is pretty big this is the biggest coil I've put in a deck ever it's big I mean there's how many reps are on this let's count I haven't even counted one two three four five six seven seven reps in this and they're thick, thick coil, thick wraps. There's so much, so much space. That's the best thing I can pull out of this. If you're a coil builder, the amount of space that you've got to build in this is fantastic. The airflow, the airflow, it's absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna just whack this up, and I'm gonna go to 150 watts because you guys need to see this. You need to see it because it's impressive. It's so impressive. Okay, let me just juice up. Now, great thing as well, because obviously it's a deep well, and it's big coil, chunky cotton, you're going to fit a lot of juice in here, you know, you, you can fill that up, and you're going to get a nice good amount of pulls, you can even get five, six, seven pulls out of this, and, you know, before it starts to go dry, uh, so here we go, fully open, completely and lightly open, that's a... Uh, 150 watts, 7.5 volts. This thing's beast. <sighs> Got to brace myself. <laughs> Just heats up so quickly. Look right. Another thing as well. Now, if you can imagine, that coil is heating up pretty rapidly when it's on 150 watts. And I've got a mixture of nichrome and canthal in there, and God knows what else. There's no spitback. There was no spitback with that at all. I did not get any single drop of hot liquid in my mouth, scorching away at my face. And I think that is nice. I really do think that's nice considering. And with all that airflow as well. Oh, <sighs> where'd you go? Keep losing you, don't I? It's it's just unbelievably beautiful. Uh, more cons. It comes with a drip tip and a chuff cap. Interchangeable at a whim, whenever you want. All the pieces seem to be easily removable. Now, 
if any of you have seen my last review on my uh, Golden Armor's Rampage RDA, there was one thing you noticed, and that's the the rings and the posts and everything else. They kind of just fell off. They were loose. They were terrible. Now, I do want to add a little bit of extra to that because I kind of gave it high hopes, and I've been using it for quite a while now, and I still need to be doing some tutorials on building for that thing because uh, it's very interesting concept and I do like it but I will get onto that on a different video because it's not it's this not for now but yes this is glorious absolutely glorious now cons I've pretty much gone on a bit for pros but cons there are none there are no cons with it I can't find any reason to dislike this at all now obviously you guys that have seen my previous videos I do try and like to find a fault in it, but I can't. I, li I literally cannot find a fault in it. Apart from possibly... Alright, I've just thought of this because maybe you guys will agree with me if you ever get one and you try and build in it. Now, if you build this way, where you keep the coil in the centre, um, you know, straight through the middle of the, between the two posts, and obviously, because you could obviously build a coil across there, and a coil across there, so you can go parallel coils. It's a bit of a fiddle to get the wires in, but of course if you spend the time to bend the wires correctly and get them nice and snug and everything else, it's one of those if you're gonna build you've got to build precisely, so keep that in mind. But I don't I don't think that's a con at all really. It's it's more of a it's just you know, pay attention to what you're building, you know, take time, take care, all that jazz. But yes, other than that, um, I think this is such a glorious device in all its entirety. Now, I will be doing build tutorials on this most regularly, and it's going to give me a chance to actually do some extravagant coils. Now, you can obviously take what you learn from these next videos that you're going to be seeing in the future, and obviously you can build these things in any RDA you want. But I'm going to be using this device because it's spacious. Absolute spaces. That's the best. That's the best thing about this. I think. If you can pull away anything you learn today from this, is it's spacious. <laughs> I can keep on going on about the space all day. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to vape it a bit more because it's just delicious. Oh yes, it's so so nice. Absolutely, just just glorious. And I have to top up because obviously that 150 watts just just uh, oh, evaporated that juice very quickly. And I've whacked it back down to 80, and I think it's pretty good good wattage for me. And of course, as well, I didn't mention this, but yes, you get your screwdriver, you get spare. Uh, there's actually grub screws as well. There, flathead grub screws. So you can swap them up for your Allen keys and Phillips if you wish. Um, you get your spare O-rings. You even get a spare miniature O-rings for your drip tip that I've lost. I dropped it earlier. But yes, yeah, so you get your spare O-rings, which is fantastic because you need spare O-rings really because you never know if they break or not. But it's quite firm. Nothing's loose. I can literally, I can pick it up from the chuff cap. I can give, oh no, it came off, but uh, that's to be expected because obviously there's only one eye ring here. But as you can tell, it's quite it's quite sturdy. <laughs> it's sturdy enough, do you know what I mean? It's, the fact that I can pick it up like that even for a little while is pretty good. And obviously I can pick it up from the actual ring itself very well indeed. It fits nicely. It's obviously 510 connection. And yes, it's just it's 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 just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just good. So go ahead and ask your local vapor vendor if you can get yourselves a Phenotype L RDA clone or not, because both of them are just as good as each other. There is no difference at all. Now, as far as I'm aware, the clone is cost me 19.99. Now, if you go into Mad Cow Vapes as well. You will get yourself a loyalty kind of account. It's not a business. It's not. It's not a loyalty card where you get stamps and you earn certain stamps. The more you go in there and the more you spend, the more points you earn. The more points you earn, points mean prizes. Yeah. 
so you can spend them whenever you want you can build them up you can literally basically I've got myself about two pound fifty worth of credit now in the shop um, so you know you can save up your points and then you can just be like I want one of them for nothing and I'll be like yeah sure thing no problem so yeah that's cool so that's a, that's a good concept instead of all these loyalty cards that a lot of vape shops have um, I definitely recommend it's literally right on the high street you can't really miss it it's just up the road from Costa okay so if you're in random at any point and even if you're not in random come up random and visit the place because it's, it's fantastic okay so but I think I've run out of things to say I think I've said enough I could go on but I'll just be repeating myself pretty much and I think I have a lot anyway I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you guys can uh, like this video I hope you guys can subscribe you know do all those things comment find out if you have got any questions ask away because I'll be happy to answer and uh, I will see you guys very soon so thanks again